Hey, I'm Jay from CopTool.com. Today we're here with Jake and we're looking at the 2016 Brushless Impact Challenge. Jake, what can you tell me about these tools? Yeah, we've got four of the major tool companies, Brushless, 18 or 20 volt impacts here. Uh, we've got Makita, Milwaukee, DeWalt, and Bosch. Makita XT-T09 has 1550 inch-pounds of torque, three speed settings. It's 4.7 inches long, which makes it the shortest. That's 2.5 pounds, which makes it the lightest. But the 1550 inch-pounds of torque also has, gives it the lowest torque rating among the four we have here. Next up, we have the Milwaukee 275720. So this is the one key model. So it has four customizable speed settings when you use the one key app. It also has a quarter inch hex quick release chuck. It has 18 inch pounds of torque, which makes it almost the most powerful, but it's also almost the most heavy at 3.2 pounds. It's five and a quarter inches long as well, so it's not the longest, but it's definitely not the shortest. Next, we have the DeWalt DCF 887B. It has 1825 inch pounds of torque with three speeds and torque settings. And it's Bluetooth enabled through the battery which means that the speed and torque settings aren't necessarily customizable, but you can still connect it to the DeWalt Tool Connect app. So again, it's not the shortest, but it's not the longest, and 2.9 pounds, so it's not the heaviest, but it's not the lightest. Last but not least, we have the Bosch IDH82. It has 1650 inch-pounds of torque, three speeds. The real selling point is that it has the socket-ready chuck, so it's both a quarter-inch hex and a half-inch square chuck. It's the longest at 6.2 inches, and it's among the heaviest at 3.2 pounds. Okay, it sounds like we have some really good competitors here. How are we going to test these in, in real-world applications? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drive four different screws. We have everything from big lag bolts to tiny cabinetry screws that we're going to drive with all four of these different impactors to see how they perform on their high-speed settings, how they perform on their low-speed settings, you know, once we figure that out, I mean, we really want to test them on the high end. How are we going to test out the, you know, max torque? Uh, we actually have a skid more machine. We're going to hook them all up to a skid more machine so that we can get the relative torque and the max torque on each of these different impactors with our own testing equipment. So are we going to test the battery life here? That shouldn't be the factor that a professional is looking for, is how many screws that you can drive with each one of these, because the answer for each one of these is going to be a ton. If you're not getting the battery life that you want from a 2.0 battery, you'd just be much better off upgrading to a 4.0 battery, or a 6.0, or even a 9.0, or a Flexvolt, or any of the new batteries that are on the market now, instead of trying to say this impactor isn't any good because the battery doesn't run as long as I want it to. Okay, well, why don't we get started and test? Sure. These out. Okay, so we did some real world testing of these guys, uh, some small screws, did some, some bigger lag bolts. What, um, what insight do you have for us? Well, they all did the job really admirably. They, you know, for everything from the huge lag bolts to the tiny cabinet screws, they're going to drive a screw. That's what they're built to do. Uh, I really like the Milwaukee the best. It had the highest torque when we put it on the skid more, and the one key intelligence really set it apart from other ones. Uh, when we, I drove the tiny cabinet screws, they could, you know, not bury them, which is yeah, huge. So the, with, which is huge with tiny cabinet screws like the that. The factory setting was was one, which was low, but then when we did the one key, we really got it down to like very, very low, low RPMs, low, low torque. Um, so that was nice. Um, next, I like the Makita. The Makita was the most compact out of all of these here, but it still had plenty of torque to do anything that you wanted to do. Uh, a lot of people use these overhead and use them in weird places, yeah. so having compact, compact would, is a big factor with an impact driver. All right, so DeWalt, how'd that do? The DeWalt was a good all-around choice. It's bulkier than the Makita, but it has a little bit more torque. It doesn't have as high of a torque as the Milwaukee, but it comes at a lower price point, especially since it doesn't have one key. 
and it has three it lights was nice. Yeah, the lights are nice. It does have the Bluetooth battery on that one, so you Correct. can connect it to an app, and it does have some functionality like that, but not on par with the stuff that the one key can do. Okay, so you can't change the torque, but you you can like lock the battery and then leave, and if it gets stolen, then it doesn't work. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and then what about the Bosch? The Bosch, I like the least. It's still at a similar price point to all the other tools, but it has the lowest torque, but that socket-ready chuck is a is a big game changer because when we were testing all the other ones on the skidmore we kept breaking adapters but that wasn't an issue with the bosch of course there's more to the story so check out the full write-up on coptool.com don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video informative and i'm jay this is jake thanks for watching